guys that's working on one-site solutions here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to factory reset a JSA file. For this, all you'll need is a serial lead, which is a micro USB lead, a JS8000, and PuTTY the application. So what you want to do is you want to start off by powering on the JS, unclipping the top of the JS, and you'll see the debug input. So there's where you want to put in your serial lead. And then head over to Device Manager, and go down to Ports, and it should assign you a COM port. So mine here is COM5. So you go over to Putty, go over to Serial, change that to the COM port that it's giving you. Bump this speed up to 115200, and press Open. This should prompt you with the login screen. And you want to log in with your platform credentials. Once you're logged in, you'll see the menu. Um, and what you want to do from here is power off the JS. Hold down the backup button on the top of the JS and then power back on the JS. And you'll see the reboot start kicking in. You want to hold this down for about 15 to 20 seconds until it initially realizes that it wants to do a factory reboot and it will come up on putty. There you go. So now you just release the button and then follow the instructions. So here it says power cycle to proceed this recovery. So we have to do is power the JS off. Hold it down, let it go for about five seconds and power it back on. There we go, guys. So it's defaulted back to the default IP address 192.168.1.140. Now it should go back to the default login credentials as well. So Trillium Niagara. And there we go. So that's how you factory reset a JS8000. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to go and check out some of our other videos on the OneSite Solutions channel and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks, guys.